Hey everyone, welcome to Kiki Catch Chat. I am Shirley. Christy, what's good people? What's good in the neighborhood? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and we are here to not do a review, but to give out a list of our, um, in our personal opinion, the best romantic scenes in film. We were going to do a list for best romantic movies, but we were like, scratch that. Let's do best romantic scenes in film because then we can use different genres like horror, action, and all that stuff. To be honest, I looked up at, in horror to see if there's like a romantic scene and I couldn't right. find any, but maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. <laughs> but if you have one, let us know. But if you have one, put down below like yeah. any like action, horror, like romantic scenes. Maybe we haven't seen those movies. I don't know. But, like, this is what we remember that as the best romantic scenes for us. So, let's give it out. Um, do we have announcements or we give Just that out? Just one quick announcement right before yes. we get started. We This is the month of love. And I know some people out there don't celebrate this month. But and it is Black History Month. And well. Black History Month, too. Um, and so, we want to also shout out to Maggie from Pink Leo Productions. Maggie, yay! Maggie. Thank you for including us. We're going to be in a discussion tomorrow about Bridgerton, the Netflix show, a period piece. <laughs> so we're doing that, and we just want to also shout her out. So just below, subscribe you know, definitely subscribe to her YouTube channel. She talks about movies, TVs, and she's um, an amazing, I would have to say, reviewer. I really enjoy her videos. And the, the video that I decided to link below is the, the men behind the women. And I really love that title. Oh, the psychics one? Yeah, um, the psychics. Oh, oh, that's a different video. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, talk about Baggy's video. The oh, latest video yeah. she's done. So definitely. Yeah, psychics. She's talking about psychics. Oh, the men psychics. behind women. They're, they're psychics. I thought you were saying psychic, like psychic reader. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, you see what she's talking about? You see this? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we got another level here. Another but level. let's get started. Yes, let's get started. Oh, and our Bridgerton talk, I think she's going to put it on her channel, her YouTube channel, Prink Leo Productions, and I think somewhere else, but I forgot. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, when she puts it up, we'll, of course, promote it and stuff. It's exciting. Okay, yeah, let's get into our list. Okay, so it's not like one, two, three, whatever. It's We're just going to shout it out. It's like our lists are kind of the same anyway, so we're just like, if I didn't say something, she's going to say it. So, what is my list? <laughs> what is my thing? Okay, so the New Year's Eve in When Harry Met Sally. Love that scene, that part, because Harry is like telling, you know, talking about how like he loves the things that about Sally, like when she orders, like takes an hour long to order something that is adorable. You know, you really love someone when you love their annoying aspects of them. You love all of them in a sense. I don't want to say no, but you know what I mean. Like it's, it's kind of me. How about this way? I love that you get cold when it's 71 degrees out. I love that it takes you an hour and a half to order a sandwich. I love that you get a little crinkle above your nose when you're looking at me like I'm nuts. I love that after I spend a day with you, I can still smell your perfume on my clothes. And I love that you are the last person I want to talk to before I go to sleep at night. And it's not because I'm lonely, and it's not because it's New Year's Eve. I came here tonight because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. You see? Just like you, Harry, you say things like that and you make it impossible for me to hate you. And I hate you, Harry. I really hate you. Um, my other one is the van scene from the old guard. Um, of course, to see a queer love inter interracial uh, romance between um, the male and the male. And Joe and Nikki. Joe, you just feel the love that he has for Nikki. Look at my shirt. It's a cool shirt. Hey. What was that with I told you. Shut up. I need to know he's okay. That's sweet. What is it, your boyfriend? <laughs> You're a child, an infant. 
Your mocking is thus infantile. He's not my boyfriend. This man is more to me than you can dream. He's the moon when I'm lost in darkness and warmth when I shiver in cold and his kiss still thrills me even after a millennia. His heart overflows with the kindness of which this world is not worthy of. I love this man beyond measure and reason. He's not my boyfriend. He's all and he's more. Incurable romantic. What I like about the what about this scene is that, you know, Joe is like giving out his love to Nikki. I think he's just talking about why he loves Nikki so much to Nikki because he's trying to motivate him that we're going to get through this together. We have each other. Whatever happens, we are going to get through this together. So, yeah. My favorite line from that scene that just tickles my heart is when he says his kisses thrill me even after a millennium. Yeah, millennium. millennium. <laughs> I love that line. I mean, because they've been together for like a thousand years. That's crazy. But it's amazing. But anyways, the next one is Moonlight. Uh, Sharon and Kevin in the diner. He cooks him dinner. Hello. Who, to some people's heart, it's food. Come on. Uh, Moonlight's oh, such yeah. a damn good movie. That's such a good scene. He cook, Kevin cooks for him because he. I think he works at the diner. Or that's yeah. His, yeah, yeah, as a chef. So, uh, so good. Um, yes, the other one is Pride and Prejudice. The field scene. Come on. The music. The way he looks. Like, his shirt is open. He's got that long coat. He's coming in like, Hello, Elizabeth. Here I am. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and here I am to tell you Just I love act you. Just it out. Yeah, I am going to act it out. I'm just going to be like, hey, I wanted to do that. I want to be with like my shirt open a little bit with my this, like my coat and be like, look at this and the wind and the music. I mean, imagine you could play music in real life when you walk down the street. Like, dang, dang, you have your own theme song. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. that's my life, actually. For Jane also, it is I who should be making amends. You must know. Surely you must know. It was all for you. You are too generous to travel with me. I believe you spoke with my aunt last night and it has taught me to hope, as I had scarcely allowed myself before. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes have not changed. But one word from you will silence me forever. If, however, your feelings have changed, I would have to tell you. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love and love and love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Cold. 
Delta, yes. Hello. Um, damn, what's the next one? You want to go? I forgot. You uh, wait. Now you forgot. Oh, Ever After. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> um, on the scene when, you know, Ever After. Come on, man. Drew Barrymore, 1998. Oh. Um, the scene when Henry proposes to. What the hell is her name? Um, Danielle. Danielle, yes. I'm sorry. Um, I love that movie. Um, you know, he's just like. Yeah, Danielle's like, yo, this is who I am. You better take me who I am because I don't need you. And Henry's like, but I love you. Please have me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it goes, but I'm like forgetting. <laughs> no, like, see, because she just saved herself from that man who took her. And she's like, what, what are you doing here? I'm just like a peasant. Like, get out of here. You're a prince or whatever. And he's like, no, I love you a lot. Well, I, that that is also in one of my favorite scenes, uh, romantic I'm scenes. I'm not saying the whole thing, like, actually. one line that I definitely liked from this scene is that in the first test of honor, something I failed you or something like that. But it's just like, I love that because he understood that, you know, there's definitely going to be tests in relationships. Oh, and yeah, stuff definitely. Like that. So I just like hearing things that are sound real, especially in romance movies. Like, Yeah. I don't know if that means it, but... <laughs> No, it's, it's true. It's just... I mean, in life in general, we're anyway. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. All right, because you go. Okay, so know. Ever After is one of them. And I love it because it's also Cinderella. And then, I, oh, I yeah, wasn't going to mention this, but I should mention this. Cinderella is a um, live-action Disney film movie. One of my favorites. And if it's you haven't like seen it, favorite. you're missing out. That's her favorite. That's the scene fun. where she's walking down the stairs and she meets the, the prince after <gasps> being locked up. And, of course, they, you know, they meet each other for the, you know, for the first time as, you know, Cinderella. She introduces her as Cinderella, herself as Cinderella. What's her name, though? No, but she introduces herself as Cinderella, oh, okay, which I found okay. interesting. That's interesting. And she's explaining that I'm just a country girl. And then he's like, oh, yes. But I'm also an apprentice learning his trade. trade. I was you like, take me as an apprentice learning his trade. Yeah, I like that. That's a am. good scene. Take yeah. me as I am. I love that. Anyway, so let's move on. <laughs> but Ever After is also Cinderella Tale. Just to mention, I don't think you mentioned that. Um, <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. Her scene is the field scene. My scene is the very last scene where they're oh, in the backyard yeah. of the house, I believe. There's water. There's house? Some... That's a mansion. Get well, that mansions. You know what I mean. <laughs> calma, yeah. calma. All right. And there's there's trees. There's field, fields. And they're they just like fields? kneeling, on, you know, right in front of each other and professing their love. But really professing mm -hmm. it in a way that you typically don't see, right, in films. And so there's this line that's like... That he that he can only call her Miss Darcy if he's completely candescently yeah, in love. love, and and Whoa. I just that line alone just melts me. I don't know why. Every time I hear it in a movie, I'm just like, oh. Anyways, and then just the scene itself, it's just so like. Is so symmetrical the way the scene is set up. They're like totally flanked by two uh, sculptures with fire coming out. And of course, fire is a symbol of this. It has a lot of symbols, but one is passion. But the other one oh, that okay. thrills yeah. me in this scene is that fire also symbolizes eternity. And I was like, oh, oh yes, eternal love. I love right. that. Anyways, so that's Pride right. and Prejudice for me. The next one I would have to say, I really like Hitch. I like Hitch not only because it's a fun movie, but it because it's movie. diverse leads. I love that. She's Latina, he's black, and you know, you don't get to see that very mm -hmm. often, you mm -hmm. know, and in really Hollywood. Or if it's an interracial scene. It's interracial. It's interracial scene, it's basically a, a white partner between another, like, the yeah, person and you know, and you know, and so this is the first time that I, well, one of the first movies that I saw the two leads were a diverse couple, and I really enjoy that. But the romantic scene that I enjoy the most in this film, of course, is when he's going out to chase mm -hmm. her to the car, and he's like saying that he's afraid, and I know you're afraid too, but I love you I'm or something like that, <laughs> and so yeah. That is one of the scenes that I love. The other one, of course, is the old guard. I already said it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and one that um, I, that I didn't even think of until recently is Wally. 
Have you seen Wally? Because if you haven't seen Wally, it's the most adorable film it's I've ever seen. Movie. With two, I would have to say robots, robots right? <laughs> robots. And so this is the so first, like, like kind of like the first scene that Wally is meeting. Um, oh my God! Yeah. Her name just Eve. 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 Wally <laughs> is meeting Eve, and he is showing her his um, bunk area, right? His can canister where he's living, and he has all these knickknacks and gadgets everywhere, and he's just showing her everything. And really, he's what he's trying to do for me, this scene totally tells me that he's trying to swoon her. And he's doing it in the most adorable, adorable just like, mm, <laughs> it's like, it's, really, it's cute. really cute and it's funny and he's, he's messing up but it's so adorable and she's just there like not even under, like so serious and stuff but you could see that he is already has an attraction to her mm -hmm. and I think it's adorable. <laughs> What was the other scene? Oh, another movie I think you were gonna mention was um, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Yes, that's one of my favorite. Oh, you saw that this year? Yes, it is. And um, I think it's the scene where they're just staring at each other and the fire is just hitting. Yeah. No? Yeah. <laughs> Especially one of the ladies. I don't know how to say their names because it's French. I'm so sorry. I could have tried to pronounce it, but you know me and names. So, um, yeah, just the fire and how it's just, uh, you know, this like, I think it's a symbolism of their passion that it's growing between them. I guess. Because, yeah. you know, fire and this thing and just like the danger of it as well. Right? Yeah. <gasps> Yeah, the danger, right? Because they're Is both it? two women, you know, and back then and, and stuff. For me, the scene. And she needs to get married to a man, right? That's now. true. Yeah, I know that's that's a sad movie in a yeah. sense, but also very passionate. I think even even though it's so subtle, yeah, but the way they talk to each other. I just other. love the how they scene, just do the staring. The staring, the staring. To each other. <laughs> when they when she's painting her and she has a green dress on and the, and she's telling yeah, her. that's another good scene. Oh, that Romantic all the quirks that she has that she knows about that she likes and then mm -hmm. when she repeats the other character repeats it back to her, she kind of almost gets upset like, "Oh my god." Like right. like um, oh my god, you know so much about me. I'm scared now or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. It's just really sweet. It's very good movie. Um, Damn good movie. It's on Hulu. Check it out. <laughs> but I mean, um, I think the other last scene, romantic scene that I have, um, there's probably a couple more, but this one that I really stood out for me was the Shape of Water, the Guillermo del Toro Shape of Water film with the monster and the leading lady when um, it's towards the end. They, she's been shot, I believe, and he carries her into the water, right? And she's just falling into the water. Her shoes fall off. First of all, it's the most romantic um, water scene I've ever seen with the lighting and, I don't mm -hmm. know, the colors. Mm -hmm. And he just grabs her. And as, you know, throughout the movie, you see these cuts in her neck. And, you and you know, I mean, for me, that didn't come up until the end realizing that those were going to be her gills right fish gills yeah, kind of like neck so. thing as into like and then so for me the scene was like really this kind of like and especially the gills was kind of like this destiny waiting to happen so I, I i take it as that like this scene is like destined to happen because you know he kisses her and then she gets her gills and they're hugging and kissing and it's just so beautiful and, i like the water and the water scenes anyways it's the shape of water if you haven't seen it please check it out <laughs> um yes i think that's it right and that okay. is it yeah that do is we it. have any updates i do have uh, something to share but if you have something else to share no our next video i think is gonna be a live right a live show february yes. 12th um that's new year's 
uh, Lunar New Year. And it's uh, the third film is coming out for To All the Boys I Ever Loved, Always and Forever. We're going to do a revi review of that and chat and all that stuff. Yes, exactly. And because this is the month of love, I mean... I mean, Valentine's really. My, our mom got us into Valentine's. Um, I want you guys to all think about self-love, you know? It's not just about the love you give. But what about the love you receive from yourself, right? So That's think about hard. all, the, you know, I think this <laughs> is a good time to work reflect on. on. No, I mean, no, no, no. You can reflect on it yeah, self -love whenever. Is how because are you going to love anybody else if you can't love yourself? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. So definitely think about the things that yeah. you love about yourself. And if you can't answer that, then write a love letter to yourself and see what comes up. It's a fun exercise. I have done it. Definitely check that out. Definitely try it out. Definitely. And all right, I don't got nothing else to share except please wear a mask. Yeah, this has subscribe, been like, um, ring the bell, and yeah, the comment sections of whatever romantic scenes you love. Yes, please chat with us below. Yes, geek a chat. Okay. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you for Peace. watching. Yeah, thanks you for watching. You are awesome. I was a peace. peace.